what a vlog. So, yeah, we missed our flight. Are you laughing? Yes. <laughs> I'm laughing. She don't have no room to laugh, y'all, okay? She had me run into the airport. We still missed the flight. I hadn't even had breakfast or coffee or nothing to give me the extra energy. Yeah, like, I almost threw up. What's happening? Yeah. Oh, no, you didn't see me when I was getting close to that. I was like, okay, I'll keep going. <laughs> yeah. It was a rough day. It's been a rough morning, okay? We're running out for two hours of sleep. <laughs> well, I'm running out for two hours of sleep. I don't know about her over there. But I'm running out for two hours of sleep. the same. But, you know, we made it though. Now we got a layover in Kansas City. I wonder what they got to eat in Kansas City apple. You know what? I have no comment. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking about food. I'm thinking about my job. <laughs> no, because, you know, no, I'm thinking about the job too because we need to eat in, in Kansas City because when we need the apple, we got to get it. Because, no, we have to be back tonight. So, we her and my it. man are just on me to be back tonight. Even if we got to catch the last fight, nigga, he had made the request. So. <laughs> <laughs> and he never makes the request, so we got to fulfill the request. Tonight. So, no. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, so we're about to get on this flight to Kansas City. And. Uh huh. Yeah, hey, yeah she's carrying her on the go while he carries her never full. <laughs> y'all see the couple in the back? Boom, boom. Uh, they just walked past us, but uh, yeah, y'all. So I'll catch in with y'all when we get to Kansas City because we probably gonna have a little something to eat. And she's right, we do need to eat before we get to Kansas City, before we get to Nashville. We're really gonna be like two hours behind where we really wanted to be. We would have landed 10. No, she just added more stress onto the girl. But it's cool though. We do oh, this. Right there. Yeah, it's stress. Come on, that's why. Like, in your body. There you go. I'll tap in with y'all. What up, guys? So, it's your girl here. We're here at my client, Roger Sapple's house, and we're about to jump in his closet and get everything done. He's not here right now. Uh, in order, I would let you guys say what's up. But me and Fridge about to tackle. We got our to-do list. We've already planned out everything. And it's about to be a doozy of a day. So we have game day looks that we have to get accomplished today. We have to take things to the cleaners or take things home with us. And we have to replenish and rejudge everything. Because I do spoil my clients. I take very, very good care of them to the point where their wives, their girlfriends don't have nothing to worry about. And so, yeah. So I see a lot of empty holes. I see a lot of shoes all over the place. And this is just not the moxie way. So I'm about to move my rolling racks out. Thank you, French. And I'm about to get this suitcase back up. Rejudge all this information. Information. My bad. <laughs> my bad, guys. Rejudge this side. Get all the shoes back organized, color coordinated. And yeah. Let me go check on the other side of my other closet. Uh, yeah, um, we uh, pulled that rack out of the um, other Don't forget. Oh, I'm glad I did bring the bag in because we got the uh, the label maker. Yeah. Okay. So this, I know, is going to have to go to the cleaners. Yeah, that's the Dior outfit. Everything, I feel like everything right there needs to go. I'm going to put this to the side right here just to get it off my rack. No, that's perfect, Sean. All right, y'all. So this is what we call the dressy closet. So we got, you know what I'm saying? Nice little dressy side. So I got to come back through, reorganize these outfits because we have a lot of game days looks coming up that I want to make sure is fresh and ready to go. So yeah, y'all. Like I said, I really be doing this, y'all. I'm trying to get better and be on myself to be more present and letting you guys know what exactly I be doing for my clients and how they get this A1 bomb ass of a service. But yeah. So I got to stop talking and stop rambling. Because, too, I just saw Roger's mom. I'm so excited because I didn't think I was going to get to see her or her daughter. So... Yeah, I gotta hurry up so we can at least I have a little pop out sesh like we normally do. But I will check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so we have already refreshed the closet. So now I'm going through making my game day looks. So far, I'm thinking about doing this runway Balenciaga sweatshirt moment. It is gonna be pretty cool on this Monday night football game. Um, so we do have that runway piece he has not worn yet. Super cute. And we're gonna pair it with these like 
acid wash light gray jeans and I think the shoe I decided to go with was these right and to funk it up with these right but you know a girl loves options so now I'm gonna actually come through and do this Gucci bomber moment and it's a navy Gucci bomber moment worldwide <laughs> you know the vibes um and so yeah so I'm working on a second look now but I already know the shoe that I want to pair it with are these boots here fire so now I just really got to figure out the different color wash and keep pressing so just want to hop in check in with you guys let you know I'm doing great and fabulous over here just working and yeah moving the groove and shaking up in this thing <laughs> so yeah I'll check in with you guys a little later all right guys so as you guys been seeing I'm like working really really hard and making sure my clients closet as well taken care of and going through and making sure I'm just doing my maintenance but now it's a fun time because I get to actually put the looks together so I'm actually gonna go through my process step by step of what I think about when I'm curating these looks okay okay so um, I already showed you guys, and if I didn't, I'll go ahead and insert the clips here now of his next two home games. So we were thinking, you know, um, comfort, but still making a statement. It is Monday Night Football, so we're definitely about to have this fabulous look. And, in fact, why don't you get it first? So okay. I get it first, this isn't the one I was talking about, but it's still fire. It's still very dope. So we have the, we have the Gucci bomber worldwide it's navy with black and cream trimming so i did a orzo oreo oreo i think that's the name of the brand but anywho i did an oreo distress long because long shirts are in for guys right now did that it kind of complements the cream coming through and then we did some distressed denim you know and then we did lv frames you know and then come back through with the boots like i said something comfort but still making the same and still look very very nice okay guys you don't have to do too much to look good okay now for this one specifically like i said this is his runway look so um by the way guys when you shop with mox you get runway but so we have this exclusive balenciaga runway hoodie distress hoodie that's everything repairing it with this acid wash gray denim and this Louis Vuitton bag. Sickening. And the shoes that we're gonna do for this look too, to wrap it all in together. Thank you, French. It's gonna be these B22 Dior sneakers. Right, I know, I know. We might mess up the game because French feels like I should add a little razzle dazzle. We might mess up the game and add these in there too. These are low-key his favorite glasses. I can't lie. That limited edition Louis Vuitton. So you're right. He does need those. So boom boom. So those are our first next two home game looks. Um super exciting. As you can see, I'm lit. And I'll insert at the end of the vlog too, so you can see the looks that we have done so far this season. Um, just in case you guys like the other runway pieces I have for the next couple of home games. So we have this. This is a runway cable knit checkered board sweater. It's everything. I'm obsessed. And we're going to keep it very mod. Pair with some distressed black denim. And yeah. With these sneakers right hold up wait a minute because your girl just came up with something on the flip while i was here and boom red glasses y'all millionaire frames look great on roger so it's inevitable for us to do this so pops red with the outfit i need baby we have this palm angels fit it's a sweatsuit something calm cool and collected like one thing I do want you guys to know is like you can really dress and wear high fashion pieces, but it's okay to have some chill shit. So we're gonna do this Palm Angel sweatsuit, full sweatsuit, and definitely these like mod skater type Christian Louboutins, all white. Okay. All right, guys. So now our next look is this Dior sweater. 
And this is an incomplete look because I still have to get the boots for him. But this is a moment. It's a vibe. And I'm really thinking about him throwing on his Crayola heart hatter hat with it. A vibe. Now we're moving on to even more comfort because last season Rod had a few games where I had some fly fits laid out for the dude and he didn't wear them. So he wanted more comfort. So as a stylist, it is my duty to not portray my style, but portray their style. So I'm taking into consideration of knowing him and just knowing like he's gone through some things this season. So I want comfort to be the number one thing, but still looking good. So now we're going to throw this Givenchy bomber. Oh my God, y'all. Like it's life. It's freaking life. So we're going to pair that with this off-white t-shirt, classic and these sweats these balenciaga sweats right simple but then we freak it up with the off-white nike one collab all right lastly for a more monochromatic with a little popping you know neutral color it is going to be this fear of god fear of god essentials outfit so we're actually going to do full essentials fit because you got the pieces why not put them together so we got the black here got trousers like sweats that are like super fire and super soft but then i paired it with the essentials tee and an essentials jacket so i'm super excited you guys about this and we're gonna do classic might as well full fear gods as you can see it's a vibe we're going for comfort. We're going for power colors like red. Red is a really hot color right now for the fall. Um, so I was super geek when we was able to get him that Givenchy bomber jacket. We also have it in black too. But you know, you know, I'm a lover of color and all things bright, bold, and beautiful. So um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm about to reorganize now and get this closet straight. And then we're really much done. We'll be back in a couple of weeks to come back and do this all over again and to do another fitting. Make sure. The stuff that he's buying fits him. You know, guys, like, that's a big thing. The reason why you guys have a stylist, it's so that way we take care of these kind of things for you. So I'm super excited. I'm going to stop rambling because this vlog is going to be long, as you can see, baby. As you can see. So I love you guys. I'll check in with y'all a little bit later. What up, y'all? So we just ate at our favorite spot, Pharmacy. <sighs> we get these best burgers they have in Nashville. It's, like, so good. <gasps> I love mushrooms. Yeah. I have this mushroom Swiss burger. Oh. Awesome. And it has to be like a very, very fresh. Fresh mushrooms. Yeah, fresh mushrooms, fresh everything, fresh Angus cheese, beef. all that. So we're headed to the airport. <gasps> Towards the end of our trip in Nashville, it's been a great 24 hours. Yeah. If that, it's been a great, what, eight hours, nine yeah. hours in Nashville. Yeah. Um, so I just wanted to hop in here and tell y'all what's great good, work day. what's great. Texas, we here it. we come. Um, this car really backed up on us. I wonder if they hit I know. Car. I hope not, baby. Not they, they got a camera. They should have been able to see. Yeah. Oh, but you got to back up. I know. All right, guys. <clears throat> I don't even think I started my car yet. You did, but you didn't hit it again when she got in with the key. <sighs> this ain't your car. This ain't my car. That's true, friend. It's a rental car. A rental car. <laughs> Bitch, really. Yo. He's been, <laughs> he's been interesting all day. <laughs> Truly interesting, you guys. Like, it's the mommy daughter duo for me. Um, everybody loves when we're together. Trey, that was Trey. That was Trey. Yeah, Trey, Trey with the babies. Oh, okay, what you want? No, she said. Y'all here? The shake. <laughs> the shake. Not a shake. Me. I'm just. We're working. I just want to know what she want. We're not in Texas. I'm just too afraid. A little white, white. Uh, we could have made it, but uh, yeah, hear all the beeping and yeah. shit. Yeah. We ain't gonna do that. <laughs> you got. Oh. There we go. It's epic. <laughs> We've in and out of Nashville on their way back to Texas. And it's out. Battery dead. Exhausted. Oh. 
Baby, when you gon' be honest with yourself, with yourself Girl, yeah. you ain't gotta run from the truth